हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग स्टेटिक्स बाय हेपलर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच सेज दैट लोकेट द सेंट्राइड एक्स बार एंड वाई बार ऑफ द गिवन शेडेड एरिया सो नाउ वी कैन डिफाइन एक्स बार वी कैन राइट दैट एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू एक्स टेल्डा टाइम्स डी ए divided by d a integral so now to evaluate this equation we need to define our differential area so we will define our differential area so let's say that this is my small differential area let's see so as we can see that the height of this differential area is y uh, we can say that this is 4 minus y the maximum height is 4 and we need to subtract this since y is a function of x right so uh, if this complete height is 4 so then this is this height is y this lower uh, edge of this differential area is located at a distance of y so this height of this differential area is 4 minus y and its width is this width is our thickness is dx so if i write da let me write that da is equal to this height which is 4 minus y into dx so y y is given as a function of x so we can write that this is 4 minus y and y is 4 minus 1 divided by 16 x square and multiply by dx so if i multiply this minus sign inside so we will have 4 minus 4 and this will become plus so we are left with this 4 minus 4 is cancelled out so we are left with 1 divided by 16 x square so this is da so now first of all i will find the integral of da so we need to find this will give us the total area of that uh, blue shaded area so we need to add up the areas of all the differential strips or differential areas from x equals to 0 until x equals to 8 so we need to integrate this uh, from x equals to 0 until x equals to 8 and we can write that this is from 0 to 8 and da is 1 divided by 16 x square so 1 divided by 16 x square and this is multiplied by dx this dx so we can integrate this this will give us 1 divided by 16 x to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is from 0 until 8 and now if i put this this is 1 divided by 16 into 3 so 16 into 3 is 48 so this is 1 divided by 48 x cube and this is from 0 to 8 and if i put these limits so this is 1 divided by 48 8 to the power 3 minus 0 to the power 3 so this is 1 divided by 48 into 8 to the power 3 so 1 1 divided by 48 multiply by 8 to the power 3 so this gives us 10.67 so the area is 10.67 units square now we can find this x tilde into da so this x let me find x tilde times da so x tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential area from the y axis so the centroid of this differential area will be located at its geometric center somewhere here and this centroid is located at a distance of x from that y axis so we can say that x tilde is equal to x so we can replace this x tilde by x times da so we can write that this is x times da and da is 1 divided by 16 x square dx from here so if we multiply this x so it will become x cube and this integration is again from x equals to 0 until x equals to 8 since the differential is with respect to x so this will be 1 divided by 
x to the power 4 divided by 4 and if these are the limits from 0 to 8 so 16 into 4 is 64 so this is 1 divided by 64 this is 1 divided by 64 x to the power 4 and if we put these limits so this will be 1 divided by 64 8 to the power 4 minus 0 to the power 4 so this will be 1 divided by 64 into 8 to the power 4 so this is 1 divided by 64 multiplied by 8 to the power 4 so this gives us 64 so this integral is 64 so now we can write that x bar the centroid of this shaded area the location of the centroid of the shaded area from the y-axis is x bar so x bar is 64 this is 64 divided by the this integral so this integral is 10.67 so 10.67 so x bar is 64 so this answer divided by 10.67 so this is 5.998 so we can say that it is approximately 7 meters and the units of this area is meter square since, since we are given these units in meters so x bar is 6 meters now we can find that uh, y bar as well so again the y bar will be equal to y tilde times dA divided by this same integral so now we know this we need to find this y tilde times dA so y tilde times dA integral so this is so now y tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential area uh, from the x-axis is right so we can say that um, this centroid of this differential strip is located at this distance so this distance will be y plus half of this length half of the height right so we can say that let me write it here that y tilde is equal to this height y plus half of the height of this differential area so y plus 4 minus y divided by 2 so if we simplify this so this is 2 this is 2y plus 4 minus y or we can say that 2y minus y so this is y plus 4 divided by 2 or we can say that if we divide so this is y divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2 so this is 2 so we can write that this is y tilde is y divided by 2 plus 2 times dA so let me write dA in terms of y first right so this is 4 minus y 4 minus y dx and now we need to integrate this so now first we need to multiply this again we need to integrate it from 0 to 8 so this is from 0 to 8 and if i multiply this y divided by 2 with 4 so that will be 2y and then y divided by 2 into minus y so that will become minus y square divided by 2 plus 2 into 4 is 8 and this is uh, plus into minus 2y and this is dx so this 2y and this will cancel out so we will be left with uh, minus y square plus 8 into dx and now we can integrate this so this is uh, minus uh, and we need to put y, y value as well since the integration is with respect to dx so we can write it like this this is from 0 to 8 and y is given as a function of this as a function of x so we can write this as minus 1 divided by 2 and y square will be this thing if i write y square so that will become like this so this is 4 minus 1 divided by 16 x square to the power 2 plus 8 times dx and now we can write that y square is equal to 4 minus 1 divided by 16 x square to the power square so now we can simplify this this will be equal to 4 square which is 16 plus this square plus b square that is 1 divided by 16 x square to the power 
2 and then minus 2 into 4 into 1 divided by 16 x square. So this gives us 16 plus 16 square is 256. So this will be x to the power 4 divided by 256 and this is uh, 2 into 4, 8 and so this will give us x square divided by 2. And if I write, if I multiply this with minus 1 divided by 2, uh, let me write it here. So this is the integration is from 0 to 8 minus 1 divided by 2 into this thing. This square is equal to this. So we can write it as 16 plus x to the power 4 divided by 256 minus x square divided by 2 plus 8 into dx. And now if I multiply this inside, so this will give me minus 1 divided by 2 into 16. So this will give us minus 8 plus uh, my, minus into plus is minus minus x to the power 4 and 256 into 2. So this will give us 512. So 256 multiplied by 2. So this is 512. So x to the power 4 divided by 512 and minus into minus plus x squared divided by 4 and this is plus 8. So this is into dx. 8 will cancel out. So we are left with these two fractions. Now we can integrate this since we have only x terms left. We are left with only the x terms. So this is the integration is from 0 to 8 and uh, now let me integrate this. So when we integrate this, so this will be minus uh, 1 divided by 5, 1, 5, 12 and this will become x to the power 5 divided by 5. So we need to multiply this with 5 and this will be plus x to the power 3 divided by 3 into 4, 3 into 4 and this is from 0 to 8. Now we need to put these limits. This is minus 8 to the power 5 divided by 5, 12 into 5. So this is 25, 60. So 25, 60 plus 8 to the power 3 and 3 into 4 is 12. And minus, when we put 0, so this will become 0 and this will become 0. So we are left with this. So uh, minus 8 to the power 5 divided by 25, 60 plus 8 to the power 3 divided by 12. So this is equal to 29.867. 29.867. 29 or we can say that 29.87. So now we know this. This is y tilde times dA. And now we can write that y bar will be equal to uh, y tilde times dA divided by that integral of dA. So now we know this y tilde times dA. So this is, we can write that y bar is 29.87 divided by that integral of dA, which we have determined and that is equal to 10.67. Uh, this is 10.67. So now we can divide this by 10.67. So the answer divided by 10.67. So this gives us 2.79 or we can say that it is approximately equal to 2.80 meters. So y bar is 2.80 meters. So x bar is, we can write that x bar and y bar, this is equal to 6 comma 2.80. So the centroid of this in a blue shaded area is located at a distance of 6 meters from the y-axis. So that will be somewhere here along this line. And it is at a distance of 2.80 meters from the uh, x-axis. So here somewhere here we will have 2. So this 2.80 will be somewhere here. So this is the location of the centroid of this uh, shaded area. So we can say that 
the this location is 6 comma 2.80 meters so this is the solution of uh, these two problems i hope you people would have understood uh, how to find the x bar and y bar of the shaded area kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from hibler statics